All right, so today we're upgrading the Bixby battery because it's only a 13.5 amp hour battery. It doesn't last long and I'm not paying $1,000 for a 30 amp hour battery. I'm going to upgrade this to a 50 amp hour battery. So let's start. So you will need the security bit with a hole on it, three millimeter, and just remove the screw in the back. So this battery inside is actually what Bixby is using. It's a um, 100 something dollar battery. Or if you know where to find your source, it's a $70 battery that you can buy. As you can see, this is a 15 amp hour, which is pretty decent. It's better than the older version. And it's in 6P7S configuration. And honestly, it's a very cheap battery and Bixby if Bixby was, let's say, charge us $200 to replace it, I won't even do this. But they refused to do so, so I had to get creative. So when you do this, we actually just start uh, unplugging. Um, so the thick wire goes to, that's what, J2 and J3, that's the power. So this row is actually discharging the power, and these two cables goes to this uh, motor connector right here. These, this is the... Uh, most likely the current and power control to adjust the motor speed. That's what this board does. And in theory, you can actually bypass this board if you're smart enough to make a switch using these three wires to this connector. And you can use some sort of generic switch actually to have a wire remote, but let's not do that. That's just in the future what we can do. And um, what well, we also plug the auxiliary, this goes to the wire here. We don't use it, so there's no reason to have it. I'm not going to use Big Speed Charger, unless I want to get creative to get my 5 uh, amp charger, 24 volt 5 amp charger to work. I can actually um, switch it over if I want to. Um, so we cut, we disconnect these, which corresponding to these one right here. And we also disconnect the bottom too, because that's basically in charge for charging this device. But we will we'll be no longer needing it. So right here, let's talk about how this magnet uh, safety um, kill switch work. Here's a metal plate, and this black long thing right here is the magnet switch. So we have the battery plugged in. Now, So this is basically how you activate the switch and the metal plate is there just to keep the magnet. Now I'm not going to explain about, ta about the taking a nut back on. So right here, this uh, we didn't film this because I was busy with something else and my friend John was helping me with this. You guys met John, he was uh, the sidekick on the kayak. So what happened was um, there were a lot of caulking there, so first you had to cut it. This is a 27 millimeter nut. So you use something like these. These are uh, impact uh, socket. Usually have a hole on the side. You basically have the socket, pull the wire through behind the socket. There's a hole, then you use one of these, insert to the hole and turn. Pretty self-explanatory. If you don't understand this part, then you shouldn't even work on this project. Yeah, I'm being me. So look at the original Bixby battery. It's a lithium ion battery. This should not be ever using marine application because when water gets inside, like this one already cracked due to uh, old age, what's going to happen is it's going to explode. You're going to have ocean or marine space program. This is lithium ion phosphate. Water gets in there where things can happen. This battery will no longer work. It will not explode your kayak. This is why we're doing this in a water seal case. What's going to happen, what we're thinking is mount the control board right here and connect the wire so we can actually close. Now this right here, that's where the kill switch and the metal plate will go. And this, which is the connection to the motor, we'll use a hole saw with a 27 millimeter. Yeah. Or, well, find a hole saw. If you can't find a hole saw, get a smaller hole saw, then you use uh, your drill to bore it out. We're gonna have it right in the middle. That's where we're going to connect the motor. Easy enough? Let's do it. Went to the hardware store. We got some stainless steel screw, nylon lock nuts, neoprene washer, and some spacer to mount this board. 
to this case. So we measure what we want to mount, and then mounting this. Now this metal piece, we mess with it later. That's what we're gonna use for the kill switch. That inside it from the big speed battery box. So this is how it goes. It's gonna be screw, rubber spacer, then plastic case that we just drilled, um, neoprene washer, and a nut, then marine group for extra security. So right now we just test fitted everything, and here's how we connect the circuit board. Uh, negative, negative battery, positive battery, negative uh, control, um, positive control. This is ESC, which is going to here, which we have to drill a hole and fit it in somewhere on the case. And uh, here's a motor we're gonna test. And look at that, look at that, it's working. That's right. I have to send this to my friends. Oh yeah. Uh, one thing is um, battery, the kill switch. We figure out a position. This is temporarily. And our next step, we're actually going to uh, make sure everything fits correctly. So we have to glue this metal plate. This matches the electric magnet switch right here. And the magnet will go over. And then it will, should be good to go. Um, I'm just waiting for the glue to cure and then I'm going to put this board over. Using hole saw to cut this hole for the connector. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is the final test. We hooked up everything, so let's actually open it up. Everything's connected. I will put this, I will cut a hole and put this foam over. I probably have to unplug the wires again. And, um... One final test before we get on the water. Put the switch on. The hose nicely installed. This is already hooked up. Yes. It's going. Look at that. Uh, in case, you know, kill switch works fine. Put it back on. And this is done. We did it.